preaching for our good friend Che on. Uh, before I preached, I was looking at the mirror. You know, I was going to put my makeup on, and there was gold flakes all over my face. Did I tell you this? Mm -mm. And so I thought, oh, it's got to be some makeup I did or whatever. So I scrubbed all the gold flakes. Yeah, you scrubbed it off because you oh. thought people will think I'm weird. You know, like yeah, I'm not, one of those I don't want to be weird. Crazy charismatic. Yeah, I don't want to be weird. Now we've seen this, and you know, you yeah, do we've the seen it times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, so I put my makeup again, and I looked in the mirror. They were back. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness, this is real. And then, so I go, and I was going to preach just like a two thirty session or something. Don't you know? let me interrupt one here, because not only that, you know, we had a driver who was taking us back and forth from our hotel to the venue, and she called Cindy over and says, "Look at this seat that you've been sitting in in the car. There's gold flecks all over here in the cup holder. <laughs> there's gold flecks all over the console. There's gold flecks." It was really yeah. interesting. I wasn't yeah. going to tell. There is a glory within us that the Lord's drawn out of us. <laughs> I guess. And so, you know, they were wearing masks a lot in California. So I took my mask off and it was full of the gold on both sides. I mean, I, but I thought, is it in the fabric? I mean, duh, you know, ye a little faith. Because I, with me, I saw some weirdness. So I'm, you know, I'm kind of trying to say I don't be weird. So. Um, so I'm holding it up to the light and, and never did occur to me. I have worn this mask, the same mask all this time, you know, washed it, whatever. And it didn't have all that gold on it. So anyway, I wasn't going to say anything, but that is so I, key. No, <laughs> now let me share yeah. one thing. But yeah. Oh, sure. Are you listening can get this. Brian, I think you were with me, weren't you? Yeah. And we were in Chicago area and we were having a big worship thing there and uh robert stearns was leading it i remember he was part of it and we had had a service that night and we went back to the service the, uh that uh, service that afternoon we went back that night and all of a sudden in the midst of this service it looked like a glory storm came into the building now Whoa. now now hear me it was one of those things that you didn't know what to do other than you really get under your seat. <laughs> Looked like a glory storm came into the building. And, and what happened was this glory would land on people and it would be absorbed immediately. Mm -hmm. And the Lord spoke to me and he said, that's how much my people need the glory to come and fill them in a new way. Wow. When was it, that? That was back, Brian, I would say that was 10, 12 years ago. Wow. That happened. And I've never seen it happen like that again. I have seen it happen. Remember when we were doing that, those things in Rome, we went down, we were the first team that went down into uh, underneath where all the Christians were mar martyred in mm -hmm. uh, Udiola. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were down there. They would be where the Christians were. Then they would have all the animals. Then they would have the arena. Well, mm -hmm. they had never allowed a group down there. We went mm -hmm. down there. And all of a sudden, you thought about what the horror of those people feel. So we said, we're going to worship and take communion. We started worshiping and taking communion there. And glory came everywhere. I had on black felt shoes. They were so covered with the glory of God. And the Lord said, don't wear these out. Leave them here as a room. I didn't even wear my shoes out. John, I didn't know you left them. It actually, was a gold vest. It yeah. was, wow. it was, the glory was so tangible. This is what you want to understand about this gold dust. There is a tangible glory in us. There is a tangible glory around us. And I believe we're getting in touch with it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was, I, I remember that meeting. It was amazing. It was in the Coliseum in Rome. Yeah. No, no, it was, it was in, in the, the South. It was oh, in, in the South. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We, we went, we, the Coliseum, we went there, but no, this was a place that had not 
they had not allowed people. So this like was us. an arena, though. But real, yeah, real they arena. would let they they were bringing they, they were bringing. That's where they would bring the Christians, and really, that's where they martyred. More so, were martyred. Mm, yeah, mm, and mm. the real issue that you're hearing today, all of us that are listening to this. I mean, all of us. Mm -hmm. There is a glory in us. There's a glory surrounding and coming into our atmosphere because we prayed so long. Yeah. And wow. all of a sudden, we're beginning to get in touch with this glory in a way that we had not been in touch with it. Wow. And, I think, wow. and, and so, Mike, that answers your very first statement. We're going to see this glory realm in a whole new way. Well, what we said, show us your glory, sung those songs. Okay. I mean, you know, he's going to answer. Well, but, but the, even so, Cindy, back to Chase, you know, there was a there's always been this hesitancy uh, because, quite frankly, when the glory manifests, some people get really distracted by it. Yeah. You know, and they get all focused on the the the, the manifestation and wonder. Yeah. And yeah. they and you're concerned that they'll lose sight of the central thrust, which right. is the gospel. Right. But when you shared, tell them what happened when you finally said, okay, I'm just going to share what's been happening. <laughs> it's hard to explain. The atmosphere immediately changed. I mean, and it was really interesting. The words, I started giving words, and it was like a word for this uh, one young man in the front row. And um, it would. And delayed, it was, delayed expectations. Remember, that was the trigger. Delayed expectations yeah. and a spirit of death has come around all over wow. your family. He sobbed. He was a wonderful big Asian guy. He fell over sobbing and found out that his, uh, brother? Uh, his brother had stabbed his father to death the year before. Oh, my. And God just pulled that pain out of him. Yeah. Wow. And he just came up in glory. I mean, he shone, he shone like, and you know, so this is something that's happened. Then we were in, it's interesting. It's happened a lot when we're with Asians, but we were in Maui. We were leaving Maui from a little vacation a couple of weeks ago. And we met a young man named Ben Lim, who pastors in California. I'm going to go be years. with him this year. Oh, well, I, you know, I had met him years ago, but just kind of briefly, but so we're sitting in the airport and we're really tired and stuff. And all of a sudden, Mike and, you know, Ben will start looking at me and the glory was forming all over my face again in the airport randomly. Just and, it was, and then it, it's happened again. When we got home mm -hmm. from our trip to Chase, it was all in Mike's rollerboard in his suitcase, all in it. And it, I had never seen anything the whole time I had been there. Nothing. Appeared on him. And it was all in his shirts, on the insides of his shirts. It was on some insurance papers he had been filling out, all on the top. You know, I mean, it's like a so fine. I hadn't been near those papers. I had not been near his roller board. And, and then so every once in a while, I'll pull an object out of my purse and it'll be full of that glory. I mean, I know this sounds crazy, but but it's it's a, it's a wonder. It's a wonder. You it's know? a wonder. And the and see, the anointing becomes tangible and the glory can become tangible. And that's the dimension God's bringing us into, which is so hard. I don't think he could have ever done this without you giving that word January 2020 for us to pause and see. And wow. your word also said, you will see a new prototype of revival for me. Mm. That's in that word. Mm. I am watching it. I have watched it for a year and a half. We are beginning to actually start visualizing it forming wow. little by little as we move forward and you know it's just amazing the impact this has i, I think we are to pray for everybody that's listening to this because yes. even when cindy's and mike are sharing this i feel something moving in my body 
And mm. I think you know something is moving in you. And mm. I say, Lord, Lord, by your spirit, through their blood, let this just begin to accelerate. Let it begin to pump until it comes to the surface in each one of them. Amen. In Yeshua's name. Amen. And you know, Cindy, even if they don't see a physical manifestation like gold flecks or whatever, uh, you can sense, and we would sense when this glory was manifesting, don't resist the glory. Look, no, if it's going to no. be something that's different, maybe something you've not encountered before, don't resist it and don't apologize for it. <laughs> Yeah, my, well, so, hands, my hands are pulsating just by you yeah. talking about it. that's yeah. what I want everyone yeah. listening. Yeah. There's something moving inside of you. Mm, yeah. Mm. So just just pray that into them, Chuck. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then and just take this, you know, one of the last things we're going to do, write this in the name of Jesus. I do want to say, and the Lord says there are many physical manifestations like that came in. Argentina, where gold teeth were teeth were filled with gold, turned gold. The Lord says the the glory is going to manifest in ways that can be seen. I see clouds of glory filling churches. I, I've seen that where a cloud came into church and like a sign of a man's hand and then fill. And the Lord says, let me manifest mm -hmm. who I am and get out of your scientific mind and move into the new that I have for you. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we pray for Chuck right now yeah. in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that he will be a forerunner of this. And we decree over you, go and birth the forerunners that will release the glory of God, says the Lord. Wow. Well, well, thanks for joining us. I go just ahead, love you guys. Me. I know how we used to spend all day doing this. <laughs> it's hard to just say bye, but you guys are the best of the best. We love you. And we let me all tell you all guys. of you, all of you out there, they're worth giving into. Oh, That's also you. how you unlock that glory. I'll be sending an offering for my birthday to them. <laughs> we'll send an offering for your birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is our love language. And and uh, we just thanks for giving us your time. And I love, love you guys so much. So much. A Thank new you. timeline and, for your life. And for all of totally. you watching, don't forget, God in this season is going to pavilion you and your family in an amazing new way. Oh, I ah. forgot. July July 16th and 17th, the Deborah's just go on a generals.org website. That's for women. Right? Yeah, for women. Anointed women. We have 40 women speakers, the top coming together on their own to share with you. And so we just please join us and we love you. Go to check stuff. He's got something coming up in September. Yeah. Uh, Glory of Zion. Go to that. Love you. Bye. Bye. Enjoy the glory. God bless.